One family traveled 1,200 miles just to walk one. Here's Channel 5's Rudy Medellis. Since 2007, retired Sergeant Enrique Castillo has honored the man he credits with saving his life in Iraq. Last year, Castillo wouldn't let the pandemic stop him from making the mile-long march to remember Sergeant First Class Russell Berea. And as the Brownsville Silent March makes an official comeback this year, Castillo brought along a few friends from out of town. So we were best friends. Berea's brother, Christopher, a Phoenix resident, among the more than 500 in attendance today. Well, as soon as I found out, I'm like, well, you think I'm not? I'll drive a million miles to walk one for my brother. Sure, I will. Sergeant Berea's widow, Maria, making the trip from Tucson. Today's ceremony, another twist in a 14 year roller coaster of emotion, she says. There have been days like this, or days of rejoicing, and, um, and, and even in this moment, you can't help but find yourself very emotional and thankful. Something Berea's brother says will never change. Like some people tell you, my mother always said, oh son, time heals all wounds. Ah, when you love someone that much, I found out that's not true. As the years pass, Maria says she's turned the pain into comfort. I'm so thankful that I just had the opportunity to know him and to be his best friend. Forever proud of her husband. I've been married to a gentleman who is so humble and so kind and such a wonderful, wonderful teacher. And uh, even today, every single day, um, there he's still teaching me from the grave. And while the hole in their hearts will never fully heal, events like today help. Even if it's just to get through today without their loved one. The only thing that makes it better is you see people really, it's like sometimes you think, oh, he's my brother, so I'm the only one that cares. And then you realize, wow, there are a lot of people that care. And that's what you should do. In Brownsville, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at 10.